We've now cut four sideboards and six of the end pieces out of three eight foot one by twelves. We're going to need to assemble these. I'm using some leftover pallet wood for the bottom of the box because I have it. Um, otherwise you would need to buy, um, we'll say an eight foot one by six to do the bottom. And again, I'm assembling this one with screws. These are one and a half inch number eight screws. Hardest part of the assembly is putting this on the end here. So what I'm going to do for that, I'm going to take two of these screws and I'm going to come into this board, start them off. One at the bottom. I did that right. Do one at the bottom and one at the top. Since I'm not working with Since I'm not working with pallet wood, I'll only use three screws for this. So we'll go ahead and put one in the middle. Right about there. Because in pallet wood, two pieces are joined together. I went ahead and put four screws into it. So if there's two screws in each piece, but with a long piece or a wide piece like this, you don't really need that. Now, take my container of glue. We're gonna run a bead of glue right down the end of this board. I like to glue and screw these units together. We're gonna line up at the bottom of the board, just like that. Grab my drill. I can get that first screw in. Now, pull this up tight. And get that second screw in. Then we can come in and do that middle one. Now, all right, I have one inboard in place. Do the other inboard. We can turn this hive around and repeat. Now, stickers don't really matter like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my pocket knife and pull that staple out. Again, three screws. Put one at each end. One in the middle. And I'm actually running my finger on the underside of the board so that I can feel when the tip just barely pokes through because uh, it helps me when I set the board in place so it doesn't move as much. All right, so the other end goes this way. So we need to make sure we get the ends facing the right direction. And go ahead and run a bit of glue down that end board. You're gonna line up at the bottom. Pull the board in. There we go. Get that lined up, and then the third screw goes in. All right. So that board is in. When I line up with the bottom, 
I'm lining it up here to the bottom board, but I'm also lining it up here on the side to make sure that it all lines up. And that gives us two ends on this hive already. So we're gonna line it up on this end first, and then I'll turn it around so you can see the other end and see how I line that up. And come in with some glue. Right now, I'm just holding it together. Oh, 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 let's set that down. It shifted. All right. And I'm using my body to brace it. Run that first screw in. This top end's still lined up. Run the second screw. And the middle one. All right. That's one end finished. Rotate this around. Now this never lines up. We need it out and up and you really do have to do some pulling on it. I am gonna move around to the other side of the camera. There we go. So, first things first, let's go ahead and run a bead of glue. Let that glue kind of run down a little bit and fill in the spot while I put this first screw in. First screw. On the final end is always on the bottom. It makes it easy to line up this bottom piece. and then run that screw in to pull it all together. Now that that's in, come back and set the screw up on the top. And I'm, I'm using my fingers to pull this end board out so that I can get it to line up with the screw or line up with the end of the board. You put one in the middle. Okay. Let's turn this up on end. This is upside down to the way the hive would normally sit. But the reason for this is I'm going to use this as a bottom board. This is the this is a board from a pallet, and it's because I cut it to the right length. This fits perfectly. So, I'll run my bead of glue on it. And I'm gonna run two screws down into this bottom board. I'm gonna center it up just a little bit because there's a little bit of a gap there. There's one. As we did with the swarm boxes, I'm going to go down to the opposite end and square this board up first and run a screw catty cornered from the first screw. And then we'll come back and do the other two. There's one. And that is a top bar hive. Now, I still have to cut top bars for it. The backer board 
because it's cut the same as both ends, fits perfectly down inside to seal it off. So let's get this back a little bit where you can see. It fits perfectly inside to seal it off. It also comes up level with this top. Let's scoot it forward. It comes level with this top. So when you go and set a piece of plywood on it, if it's here or in the middle because you've uh, expanded the hive a little, it adds a little extra support. When the hive is full, this board actually sits at the back, of the furthest back in the hive. Thank you for watching this uh, episode on how to build top bar hives. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Um, share it with your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and catch more videos similar to this one. Thank you.